What? That's sick. What's going on guys, it's your boy Siobhan here back with another banger video and today I'm super, 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 super excited because inside this box is my first ever media kit from OnePlus and it's their 9 series, the OnePlus 9 Pro and also the OnePlus 9 5G is inside this box with tons of other accessories. So in this video, I'm just going to show you guys what exactly you get inside this media kit and don't forget if you're new here, subscribe so you guys don't miss my camera comparisons with the iPhone, the Huawei P. 40 it's gonna be insane guys i'm gonna push this thing to the limit full review soon as well so turn on the post notifications subscribe so you don't miss without any further ado let's jump inside the unboxing let's go all right guys so here we go this is what the box looks like so on the top we have the oneplus logo and it's basically the typical nice matte red finish from oneplus but what's new is we now have this Hasselblad logo right here guys so yeah that's super cool so let's go ahead and lift up this package for the first time Ugh, let's get it yo what that's sick this thing literally just popped out like some four leaf clover bro all right that's dope all right so i don't even know if you caught that on camera guys but this thing literally just popped open but yeah these are the phones right so you have the oneplus 9 pro on the left oneplus 9 5g right here the scented upside down bro who was who, who was using my devices so as you can see oneplus 9 series your best shot and then I think this is the box. I don't even know how to open it. I think we should just look at the phones first, should we? Ooh wee! Look at that guys. So we pull, we pull down here, it's like a nice draw. Bro, I don't even think I want to throw this out. Like I can't throw this out, right? There's no way. There's no way I'm throwing this package out. I'm I'm oh the one plus warp charge 50 charger. And this is like one of the fastest wireless chargers you could get. You could wireless charge your phone with 50 watts. That's crazy. And I know the OnePlus devices has like one of the fastest charging. We have this case. This is a special, this carbon bumper case. Oh yes, the Sunstone bumper. You already know we love the Sunstone. All right, media package out the way. Now it's time to look at the devices. I think we're gonna open the OnePlus 9 first. So this is the OnePlus 9. I haven't seen much talk about the OnePlus 9. Everyone's raving about the OnePlus 9 Pro, but the OnePlus 9 is fairly good as well. So the one that I have right here is 128 gig RAM and also the Astral Black colorway. So let's go. Boom, cheese on wheeze. This is so clean. The unboxing experience is mad. So this is the phone, it's also really light. Holy, there we go. Already comes with a pre-installed screen protector. And let's just pour it on. It feels almost like the 8T is back, but it has this, it actually looks fingerprint resistant. So it has this nice glass back texture and it doesn't take up a lot of fingerprints, which is nice to see. Okay, so this is Warp Charge 65. We also get the iconic OnePlus USB-C to USB-C red charger. And that's it, that's everything we get inside the box. And then of course, you know, we got the stickers. There we go. So we have all the OnePlus stickers and you'll get this right across every OnePlus device. They always send out some nice stickers for you. All right guys, so meanwhile, the OnePlus 9 is being set up. Let's take a look at the 9 Pro and I hope it's a cool colorway. Imagine if they sent the green. Oh no, they sent the morning mist. I just saw it. I don't know why I thought I was special there for a second. I think they sent everyone the same setup, but let's, let's see. Yep, the morning mist. And I think it's a really nice colorway, but it would have been nice if they sent something else, but this is, damn, this is nice. I love the Hasselblad logo. I don't know why a lot of people are hating on the Hasselblad logo, man. But yeah, it's the same thing we'll find in here, guys. Just like we showed with the 9, it's the same thing inside. So I want to, to go in that right there. But yeah, this is the phone, the Morning Mist colorway. So inside here, we have 128 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. And whoo-wee, this camera is not doing this justice, guys. Look at that. You can see the, the reflection. It's like a morning mist. You know, like on the glass when you just wake up in the morning, 
the top part would be foggy and the bottom you know you could actually see through the window so it's that morning mist so the name is right morning mist let's go ahead and turn it on Alright guys, so meanwhile the 9 Pro has been set up. Let me just tell you a few things about these devices. Okay guys, so the main features here is that the OnePlus 9 Pro has the highest end offering from OnePlus at this moment. It features an HDR10 Plus 6.7 inch AMOLED QHD display and offers up to 120Hz refresh rate. So if you're a mobile gamer playing games on these things, it's gonna be insane. As of right now, there's no way to actually force a fluid like constant 120 hertz refresh rate so as of now it's adaptive so when you're just scrolling through the device it's probably won't be like a um constant 120 hertz but if you're playing games that support it or you're watching content that support it you will feel and see the difference and speaking about playing games under the hood of this thing is the latest qualcomm snapdragon 888 chipset Basically what you need to know about this chipset in these devices is that it's the best you can get on an Android phone right now in 2021. So playing games is not going to be an issue. But with all that being said, the biggest upgrade and the thing that OnePlus focused the most on this year was with the cameras and what can these cameras do? It has that Hasselblad integration. Hasselblad is a very, very, very good known camera manufacturer that's known for their colors and sharp image quality. But the real question is, did they manage to carry that over to the OnePlus devices? I don't really know, I haven't tested it yet, so make sure you guys come back to see when I compare these cameras. I also have the OnePlus 8T, which doesn't have a Hasselblad integration inside, so that's gonna be a good comparison as well, 8T versus 9 Pro. Is there really a difference? We're gonna find out soon. So the 9 Pro's camera is a quad camera setup, and it includes a 50 megapixel main sensor, a 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor, and an eight megapixel telephoto, and a two megapixel depth sensors so yeah that's a lot of different cameras so with all of that power inside of here the 120 hertz screen the nice cameras all that good stuff it's gonna need a good battery and inside is packed a 4500 milliamp hour battery speaking about that we didn't take a look at the 50 watt wireless charger so let's go ahead and unbox it now let's, i don't need a knife but guys come on it's it's not fun without the knife we know this and i'm yep there we go and this is definitely gonna be my main wireless charger I'm gonna put it on my desk I love the fact that it's in this nice orientation unlike the wireless chargers that I have right now and yes I do not know how to unbox it I just figured it out it's alright guys sometimes when you need to stuff you just end up looking stupid and yeah that's how it looks that's super clean it's gonna look so good on my white setup and we, we even get another cable inside Wow impressive stuff and we also have this nice indicator here to show when it's charging there's a fan there's literally a fan under here wow all right so this is the charger it's nice let me know what you guys think does it look cool on my desk or you think it's too big and obnoxious me personally i think it's very beautiful also don't think i forgot we have two cases that we have to look at okay so this is for the 9 pro Oh, it fits nice. I like it. Very nice case for the nine. And this is the sandstone, which actually feels really rigid. Like you could grate your skin on this thing. So let's put this in. Very grippy. I like the matte black finish. When you look on the logo right here, it's fully matte black. I like that. But yeah, these are the two cases. Let me know down below in the comments, which one would you be rocking? Alright guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. We went through the unboxing, we saw what came inside the box, we talked about some brief specification of features. Now it's time for me to go outside and do my camera comparisons. So I'm gonna compare all of these devices in our video, so don't miss them. It's gonna be lit, it's gonna be fun. As always guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.